At the beginning of the film, a satellite is shown, inside which a woman is sending a signal to Earth due to an attack from outside the satellite. It turns out the attack is from aliens. Next, a mother is seen with her child named Alex. Alex is not good at socializing and has trauma from a fire that caused his father's death. Therefore, his mother sends him to a camp called Rim of the World. Similarly, a rich boy named Darius is also sent by his parents to join the camp. Next, a girl named Zhen Zhen arrives in America after traveling from China to the same camp. At that time, Alex and the other kids had already arrived at the camp. There, many kids of his age were seen, and he was also greeted by a guide. While entering the registration room, Alex saw Zhen Zhen and greeted her, but Zhen Zhen ignored him and didn't say a word. In another moment, Darius, who was with his friends, saw a female guide asking them to collect their phones into a box. Dariush, thinking negatively, found it strange. Next, Alex and his mother were having a farewell moment. Before parting, Alex asked his mother not to spoil him. Moments after the farewell, Alex got a turn to do the zip line but didn't dare to do it because he was afraid of heights. Feeling sad, Alex headed to a bridge where he saw Jen Jen enjoying the view. The next day, they set off to the river. Upon arriving at the river, they were greeted by a canoe guide who said the canoes were not ready for use. Alex saw Jen Jen going towards the mountain, so he followed her. On the mountain, Alex met Darius, and Darius forced Alex to the edge of a cliff. Suddenly, a boy named Gabriel appeared and told Darius to stop his actions. Darius, not accepting it, challenged Gabriel to a fight. Gabriel immediately hit him first. At that moment, a loud explosion was heard from the sky, and suddenly they received an emergency message to evacuate. They returned to the group, but everyone had already left them, and another explosion occurred. The color of the sky changed suddenly, leaving them confused. Suddenly a plane appeared, chasing something. They returned to the camp but only found a guide who was drunk. They tried to ask for help, but all communication channels didn't work. They then tried to leave the camp. Outside, there were many planes shooting at each other. At that moment, a capsule fell right in front of them. Gabriel tried to open the door of the capsule. Suddenly, the door opened and inside there was a woman. The woman gave a key to Alex and told him to go to JPL because the key was the solution to destroy the alien. At that moment, an alien appeared and scared them. The alien released an alien dog from its body and chased them. When the dog attacked, the kids managed to trap the dog. However, the alien still chased them. Gabriel and Darius hid under the house, while Alex and Zhen Zhen hid in the toilet. The alien approached the toilet. Knowing this, Alex and Zhen Zhen hid in the septic tank. Inside the toilet, they found the guide who was previously drunk and was urinating. Suddenly, the alien came and killed the guide. When Gabriel and Darius tried to save Alex and Zhen Zhen, they were chased by the dog that managed to get out. They entered the capsule. Alex and Zhen Zhen approached them, but the dog came. As the dog was about to attack Alex, Darius accidentally pressed a button that activated the capsule's machine and killed the dog. However, the alien still chased them. Alex was captured by the alien. Suddenly, a plane shot the alien until it was powerless. Desperate, they started fighting. Zhen Zhen saw this and started hitting them. Zhen Zhen, who was previously silent, finally spoke up. Zhen Zhen suggested they go to JPL. They headed there on bicycles. Alex, who couldn't ride a bike, was escorted by his friends until he could ride. Alex, who wasn't focused, fell. At that moment, they saw the city in ruins. They managed to reach the city and entered the police station. There, Alex saw someone still in a cell. The person asked Alex to release him, and Alex gave the cell key to him and continued their journey. In the city, they saw a military vehicle passing by. A soldier approached them, and they explained the situation until Alex gave the key, which the military was looking for. They were happy their responsibility was over. They boarded a bus to the evacuation center. However, an alien ship appeared and fired at them. They managed to escape and saw the soldiers defeated. A soldier gave the key back to them, 
instructing them to take it to JPL. Alex and the others continued their journey. They arrived in a city, which turned out to be Gabriel's hometown. Gabriel was a fugitive accused of stealing at his workplace and had fled into the forest. They stayed overnight at Gabriel's empty house. Alex, Darius, and Gabriel let Zhen Zhen sleep in a separate room. However, calmly, Zhen Zhen came and wanted to sleep with one of them. As they were sleeping, suddenly they heard a noise. They saw a group of people carrying weapons. It turned out that the person was the one Alex had freed from the cell earlier. The person demanded the key from Alex, but Alex refused. When the person tried to kill Alex, suddenly an alien appeared and attacked them. At that moment, Gabriel tried to trap the alien and made it drown in the pool. The next day, they continued their journey. They entered a mall and changed costumes. After that, they saw a luxury car and drove it towards JPL. However, on the way, they were attacked by an alien again. Arriving at a bridge, they decided to jump out of the car, causing the alien to fall off the bridge along with the car. At that moment, Alex realized that the key had fallen into the car. Darius bravely went to retrieve the key. Darius entered the car and managed to get the key, but he was suddenly attacked by an alien, causing him to get slightly injured. But they managed to escape from the location. During the journey, Alex confided in Zhen Zhen about her personality. Zhen Zhen then told Alex that she liked him, but in a language Alex couldn't understand. They finally arrived at JPL. There, they saw Dr. Fielding had died. They all felt hopeless at that moment. Suddenly, they heard a voice from a general on a screen. Alex asked how to use the key, but the general told them to leave until Alex insisted, and the general finally agreed. The general said they had to activate the power generator in the basement, and Zhen Zhen took the initiative to do it. Then the general said the satellite dish needed to be reset. Alex took on that responsibility. Zhen Zhen, who was in the basement, managed to turn on the generator. Then the general instructed Gabriel to insert the key. Suddenly, Alex was attacked by an alien. Alex managed to overcome his fear and slid down the tower on a rope. The general instructed Gabriel to press the coordinates, but Gabriel, who had slight vision problems, was helped by Darius, who wrote the numbers using his blood. After that, Gabriel received two items that had to be inserted simultaneously. At that moment, Zhen Zhen came and tried to help him. Suddenly, an alien appeared. Alex came and tried to distract the alien. Gabriel and Zhen Zhen successfully activated the coordinates and destroyed the alien ship. In another moment, Alex entered a room. Inside, he tried to overcome his fears and trauma until he managed to burn the alien. Zhen Zhen, Darius, and Gabriel then managed to get out of the collapsing JPL building. Zhen Zhen tried to save Alex, but was restrained by her two friends. They were sad, but Alex emerged from the building safe and sound. They were all happy after saving Earth from the aliens, and finally the film ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video.